Once every four years, the Olympics, winter and summer of 52, the International Sports Festival produced more entries from more nations, more thrills, more records, and more harmony than any of its predecessors. German bobsledders rocketed to victory. Athletes from 30 nations vied for glory in the Winter Games at Oslo. Italy's Sino Colo took the downhill ski title, while the men's giant slalom crown went to Sten Eriksson of Norway. Andrea Mead Lawrence of Rutland, Vermont, won two gold medals for the American team. Soaring bird-like through space, the poetry of fluid motion in the ski jump. New records and new thrills for the throngs who lined the slope. And win or lose, a picture of good sportsmanship in action. He lost his balance, he lost his skis, but he never lost his sense of humor. The big story of the Summer Olympics was the participation of Russian teams. The boys who did and died for Uncle Joe brought, along with a temporary smile of good fellowship, their own scoring system. We won, they told the home folks. Everybody else knew who won. But everybody else was busy applauding performers like Emil Zatopek of Czechoslovakia, winner of three events in distant racing. Zatopek's unprecedented triple victory was one of the highlights of the games that saw Uncle Sam's star-spangled athletes achieve their greatest Olympic triumph ever at Helsinki. Another standout thriller was the 100-meter dash, so close the camera had to pick the winner, Lindy Romagino of New York. Moment of glory for winners, where masked flags on the Olympic torch were backdrops for the final act of sport's greatest drama in a great year for sports.